If you've spent time on the internet, you've probably already seen this picture. I'm going to assume you already know what this is if you're watching this video, but just to make sure, here's a quick summary. The picture is based on the game Portal, in which the player uses doorway-style portals to navigate and solve puzzle maps. The question here is what would happen if a portal were to slam down on an object? Would it simply slide out of the other portal, or exit the other portal at the same speed as the moving portal? Unlike other internet brain teasers, this one doesn't use trick questions or misdirection. It simply uses the physics of the in-game technology, so this one's actually kind of fun. Now, since we're dealing with fictional technology from a video game, we only have in-game descriptions to go off of. The two main aspects of portal operation is they are instantaneous and momentum is conserved. The speed of an object entering a portal is maintained as they exit. The variable at play here that makes this question interesting is the inertial frame of reference. So, with that in mind, let's take a look at our two answers. The cube will fly out of the second portal. This is the answer most people on the internet has concluded is the correct one. A lot of the arguments are compelling and make sense. The idea here is the motion of the portal moving is no different than an object moving into a portal. So the portal moving down over the cube is no different than if the cube was dropped into a stationary portal at the same speed. This would mean the portal is essentially the inertial frame of reference. The portal is functionally not moving, the cube is moving relative to the portal. Instead of the portal moving down over the cube, it can be visualized that the portal is stationary and the rest of the world is moving up to the portal. In this way, the cube will be tossed through the second portal at the speed the first portal moved down over the cube. This seems to make sense, and a lot of people apply real-world physics to this question to back up this answer. There is also another variable that does toss a twist into this question, but I'll cover that at the end. The cube will slide out of the second portal. In this answer, the cube will simply slide out of the second portal, regardless of the first portal's speed. This would mean the cube is the inertial frame of reference, and is functionally not moving. The portals will always be moving around a stationary cube. From the point of view of the cube, it just moves through the portal and flops to the side, as it's essentially just moving through a hole. A way to think about it is to imagine a house landing on you and you go through an open window or door. Will you fly off the ground into the house once you enter the window? No, you wouldn't. This answer can also be compelling because portals behave more like doors than teleporters. So, which answer is the correct one? Here's the fun part. Both can be correct depending on one variable. In-game versus real life. In the game, portals are coded in a way that any object moving in them is translated through the second portal. So in the actual game engine, answer 1 is correct. The cube will go flying out the second portal at the same speed the first portal was moving. It's simply how the portal scripts operate. Now, if it operated in the real world the way it's described working in the game, the second answer would likely be the correct one. The portal falling on you would be the same as a door falling on you. There is no acceleration imparted into you, the door just falls around you, and you are now on the other side. Unless the portals behave the same way as they do in the game coding, and the portals are by default the inertial frame of reference. However, I suspect they're supposed to operate like doors, and the in-game coding is just a product of making it work for the puzzles. It's entirely possible I'm wrong on this point, and the portals really would be an inertial frame of reference in the real world. I'm not an authority here, and I'm just casually speculating based on my experiences with the game. If anyone who worked on Portal can tell me how it is, I would love to hear it. Being fictional technology, the people who have the final say on this question are those who designed it in the first place.